we're on our way to work. This is my normal morning commute, although normally in the morning it's pitch black. So we're doing it during the day. Matt has graciously agreed to be the driver. And we're taking off. We're leaving our neighborhood. There's our neighbor's house. Roscoe. Miss Roscoe. Oh, slow down. Miss Roscoe. Really? You're going to skip Roscoe? Yeah, I don't want to see Roscoe. So this is Roscoe. You might remember him from certain videos or pictures that I've shown before. He's really cute. I'll zoom in on him right there. Oops. There he is, just sitting outside. He lives most of his life sitting out there. I might adopt him one day. Now we're heading down the road. This is the turn that I've slid around twice. It's the steep, flat turn as we're leaving our neighborhood. We're heading towards sort of the south or part of town, which is where into the center of town. Um, we are heading towards the open field of the tundra, which is where all the boardwalks were that Matt and I took a nice walk on on Thanksgiving. You'll notice the roads are really bumpy and really filled with potholes. It's a little bit easier right now because the snow's filling in a lot of them, but you'll still see a lot of jostling that has to do with the way the roads are kept up or not kept up. So this is Ptarmigan Drive. This is the main drive that connects where we live in the Tundra Ridge neighborhood to the downtown part of town where everything else takes place. We're driving by the Tundra on our right behind those trees. On our left is additional housing. Just past the neighborhood right there where our friend Farrah lives. Oftentimes we'll see people walking along this road at all times of day and night. At all times of weather, all types of weather conditions. We usually pass a stray dog or two, which we haven't yet, but quite the unusual ride if we managed to get through the whole trip without additional stray dogs crossing our path. To the right over here, in the distance, that's the fitness center. To get there, we have to drive this whole road. But as you can see, if we could walk across the tundra, we could get right there. A little on-leash doggy. Matt's friend, Paul, lives right down this road coming up here on our left, right? just past one of the playgrounds. There's a lot of playgrounds in Bethel and they're all fairly nice and they seem to get a lot of use. The sun's very low in the sky uh, as you can see because it's going to be dark in about an hour and a half so we're starting to see the sun come down. Coming up with a little four-wheeler hit, hitting traffic with us. They share the roads I don't think that's the law, but they do show the roads a lot. We're going through kind of around the neighborhood to get downtown. To explain why this big pipes and more ground Yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you look, what differentiates this part of town from where we live is these giant pipes that you can kind of see connecting between the houses here. 
And we have a whole pipe maze coming up on this side. Those pipes are the pipes that bring water to these houses. So in our house, in our neighborhood out in Tundra Ridge, we have to get our water hauled in by a giant truck that is just like this truck right there. That's a water truck. And they fill the water into that truck and they drive it out to our neighborhood. But in this area of town, the water gets piped through those giant pipes and gets brought to the houses in sort of a more traditional way, with the exception of the fact that all the pipes are above ground. So now we're coming up to Brown Slaw. And on our right, here's, here's Brown Slaw that we're crossing. And that leads into what is called Dull Lake. I feel a little bad for that lake. It's a very sad name, Dull Lake. This is Feely's Pizza. This is the pizza place where one can buy pizza. The better of the two, I think. There's the cemetery. And you can also buy alcohol if you buy enough pizza. We're coming up to sort of the heart of town. On our left here is the uh, kind of a business building. And then also on our left is the AC. AC is where you can buy groceries and you can buy slippers and you can buy a snow machine and you can buy ammunition and clothes. Yeah, and, and has this, the internet store in there. This is the main intersection of town. If we had a stoplight, it would be there. That's Watson's Corner. On the left is where we pick up our veggies each week. This is the Bethel Covenant Church. They bring us, our veggies get dropped off there. There's the courthouse on our right. City Hall, which is where we got our water. The fire department, it's really, this is like an exciting part of town. So much going on here. And the cultural center. This is where the library is, when the library was open. It's where the Saturday market used to be when they did Saturday market. It's also where the shaved ice truck sits during the summer when people want to buy shaved ice. So we're just kind of coming around the final corner towards the hospital and towards the building that I work in. The road that this is called is Chief Eddie Hoffman Highway. It is the single road in town that is paved. It doesn't feel like that now because the ice is kind of ruddy, but it is actually paved. On our right here is the hospital. This is all fairly new. Uh, all the white part there that you could see is new. And then this part in the back is the old part that they're tearing down bit by bit. Over here on our left is the building that I work in. We're gonna turn in there. That building also is the parking lot where they do COVID testing, so when Matt goes to get his COVID test or anyone in the community wants to get a COVID test, they drive right up there to those yellow shipping containers. Now we're coming up the driveway, making this turn into the parking lot. This is where I park my car and get out my badge and Head right in to the building through that door. Thanks, Matt. That was a great drive.